Hey -o, it's me, Doc, uh, here with a quick lesson on one of my versions of Red Rocking Chair. This is sort of my take on Doc Boggs' version of it. Um, so this is in A sawmill, so that's A, E, A, D, E, okay? Um, you can do this in G sawmill too, if you want, um, or you could even do it in standard G, uh, a tuning and just fret this the whole time, but I like to do it in sawmill, so this is a sawmill. Um, now, Doc Boggs' version ends up being a little different than mine, but this is just the way I play it. Um, so, and the way I usually play it is two finger thumb lead. So, if you're not familiar with that style of banjo playing, you might want to go look up some basics of that, but. But I'll just go over the structure of the song real quick. Um, the two chords are in A, to a sawmill tuning. They are E minor, so that's 0, 2, 2, 3, and G, it's 3, 2, 0, 3. If you were in a standard tune band banjo, which you might be, the, those chords would be D minor and F. Um, same chord shapes, but they'll sound different than what I'm playing right here, but they'll be in tune with each other. Um, so the structure of the song goes like this. Done all I can do, try and get along with you. We can't live together this way. Can't live together this way. Pull back the curtains, let me see the sun. It's been like a long rainy day. It's been like a long rainy day. So pretty easy. You go play the D minor. Not all I can do, try and get along with you. And then just go to G. Sorry, that's E minor. And then G. G. Together this way, back to D minor, uh, E minor, <laughs> sorry. Can't live together this way. Um, so as you can see, the, the second phrase repeats itself. Um, not everyone plays it that way. Some people just uh, skip the repeating part, but I like to play it. Um, so obviously that's just the structure of the song. Um, I'm playing a finger pinking part, so it goes like this. make sure that you're comfortable finger picking the more chordal parts so you know like this between this one and this one. So let's go on. And then G is basically the same way. I'm using these same two strings, different notes, but... you know for the in between the melody parts and if you're backing somebody else up or something you want to be able to play that or just so you can sing over it um so <laughs> done all i can do to try and get along with
can see I'm not always doing that roll. You can do a pinch too, which is this. So roll, pinch, roll, pinch. Just over verses. So. So the, the big part about this is while I'm playing the melody, even if I'm not playing those notes, I'm usually maintaining the chord shapes here. So when I'm over the G minor part, I'm usually maintaining this. When I'm over the G part, I'm usually doing this. Sorry, E minor. I keep saying that because I think in terms of standard tuning, but this is a eight. This is an A banjo. So sorry about that. But so. second fret of the second string there play it twice ba, 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 ba. And then you go up to the third fret of the first string so ba, 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 ba. string and then I'm doing a roll that's just the melody so stuff in so that ends up being
it's pretty simple. Um, if you're having trouble with anything, shoot me a message or ask in the comments. And I'll be happy to elaborate on this more. Like I said, it's just a quick lesson. Assuming you have certain skills already, it shouldn't be that difficult to figure out. Um, you know, there are some little things you could do to spice it up. You know, you can hammer on a lot of things, pull off a lot of things, do some bends. You know, you don't have to do this two finger. If you want to play this claw hammer too, you can. sort of minor docs box version of of red rocket chair sugar baby honey baby whatever you want to call it cool thanks for watching